stomach's a little upset, so I'm gonna have to have some calming oatmeal. This is steel cut oats from the marketplace with brown sugar and blueberries and just coffee with soy milk. So I always write a little hello note to whoever is taking care of our room. So here it is. All right, here's my outfit for day three. These are the new gold and camouflage Zumba pants. This is the gold Zumba racer back. And I have my Michi fishnet sports bra under here. And then this little cover is also from the Zumba collection. Um, I've been like living in this, so I'm so glad I got it. It's just like the perfect lightweight cover. And I'm looking forward to using this on the plane as well. And then because I have three sessions like back to back at the Hyatt, so I don't think I'm going to make it back to the hotel. So I'm probably also going to pack a change of clothes in case this gets um, overwhelmingly sweaty and I want to change out of it. So yeah. All right, day three, here we go. It is another humid day and my camera's fogged up. I have to film out here because in the different buildings they're playing music and I won't be able to use the audio. So sorry about the fogginess, but I am headed to master class with Lindsay Taylor. It's her Latin pop master class. I've done a class with Lindsay Taylor every year except last year. She wasn't able to make it. I love her energy. I love the sassiness she brings to her choreo and to her dancing. And I'm looking forward to dancing with her. one day for returns. So if you come to convention and they're selling out of something you want, check in the store on the return day, which is usually Saturday, because they will be restocking all of the returns throughout the day. And you may be able to find whatever it is you're looking for. I have found a few things that have sold out by doing just that. And the staff is super friendly and very helpful and they've been really um, good at if I'm looking for something in particular, if you ask them for a particular size, particular, you know, style, they'll go in the back and check. So, tip for you, for my vlog watchers. 
So I just found the elusive Swarovski Crystal denim jacket. It looked like it was not my size anyways, but it was funny, me and another woman were looking at it at the same time, and I was like, you take it. Hey guys, this is Brenda from Venezuela. Hello. She just wanted to say hello. Yes. What's I been your favorite session in this set, uh, convention? OMG, I guess the Mandarin, because I learned how to do Zumba with Chinese movements. Ooh. I think that is the weirdest thing beautiful. ever, but it's good, so I was like, oh. yeah. I like it. So I, like it. Yeah. I love it. You must try it next year. It's amazing, and the instructors are pretty good. All of them. All the classes are amazing. I highly recommend it. Yay. And I watch all her videos. So when I saw her walking, I was like, Oh my god, I know her! I <laughs> need to stop to take a picture. So cute. So yes. Thank you. You're so sweet. So it is 8:18 p.m. and we just finished getting snacks with. Sarah, Blythe, Jennifer, and Antonia, and Annette, of course, my roommate. Now we're just back in the room, so I just want to talk quickly about sessions today. So Latin Pop was super fun. As always, this is my fifth year doing a Latin Pop class with Lindsay Taylor, so this year it was just a master class, but she brought that same Latin vibe, and it was so fun. I just love her energy and her sassy teaching style, and I've done a lot of her choreography in my classes, and they love her choreo. And I got pulled up on stage twice. So that was really exciting. I've never been on stage at Zuma convention ever because, little secret, I have stage fright. And so whenever they're like, hey, come on stage, I'm like, no, don't look at me. She had an assistant going around and pulling people and she did an awesome job, by the way, because she was going even in the back, which is where I was. And she pulled me up twice and it was so fun because the first song is one that I pulled a move to do in a song in my classes. And I was like, when it came to that part, I was like, I know this part, yay! So that was cool. And then Fly Girl 101 was amazing. I loved the intro that was so unique and so fun and it just got you really pumped up for the session. And then Lisa Marie was just amazing. I mean, she had a huge team of I think 35 people. She did costume changes. Like I've done costume changes in my Zumba class before and I know that is difficult to execute and she did it so great. I loved all the 90s songs, of course, and I loved how she basically taught you moves that you can put to any 90s song. And it was kind of built almost like a hip hop style so you kind of learn different eight counts and then built on top of that and it reminded me of my hip hop classes in New York so I love that. Hip hop turn up with Gina and Dario is always a fantastic party. They are like seasoned presenters and I just love to see how they change things every year and it's so cool to see how they bring the energy to the crowd and I loved doing their hip hop choreo again it reminded me of my New York City dance classes and I actually danced on the stage there twice but on my own I decided that every year you got to do something to kind of like level up your game and I thought this year you need to push yourself to get on that stage so that's one of the biggest classes I think there are 700 people in the room they said hey come up if you want to get on the stage and I did it the first time I kind of hit in the back and the second time I pushed myself to dance in the front row so that was a big like personal challenge for me and I just felt really glad that I did it but um, yeah, if you're going to Zumba convention pick some kind of challenge you want to do for yourself like push yourself out of your comfort zone it is the best way to grow as an instructor and it's so rewarding and Zumba convention is one of the best places to do it because it's such a positive and uplifting and encouraging environment so if you get the chance to to get out of that comfort zone go for it after that yeah I just went by the shop really quickly did not buy anything yay and <laughs> and then <laughs> Annette's laughing at me <laughs> so now we're getting ready to go out for dinner you guys have to see my roommate's beautiful dress. and will you come over here? Oh, you have your mask on too? I oh, do. Cool. I'm almost ready. Look at you. Hold on. I have to get over this because you have to see the full body. Look you at to see the shoes. this. The shoes are the thing. Amazing. You look beautiful. Thank you. Oh, and I love the mask. Let's see it closer. Your friend made this. Yes. Does she sell them? I don't know if she sells them. This was, I think, her test. Let me know if she sells them and I will link them in the description box. <laughs> too. Meanwhile, I am wearing a strapless bra in an attempt to dress bra. up these Lululemon leggings <laughs> and sneakers, which I will be wearing later. So that's how I'm rolling this year. I have no mask either, but it's cool. Like some years you get all into it and some years you're just a little bit more chill. You got to do convention however you want to do convention. Make it yours. So we 
we just finished a delicious dinner at Capitol Grill. Um, we took an Uber over because some of us are in heels, but we're really close to the Hyatt now, so we're just gonna walk over for the theme party. None of us have masks, but it's cool. I will be sure to get lots of video because I think you guys like the video I got from the party last year, so hopefully I can get some good stuff for you tonight. party and we are headed back to the hotel now you guys this is the third black feather I've passed someone's leaving a trail of feathers from their masquerade costume they're everywhere <laughs> they're everywhere here's another one they're here too I found more we're at the hotel that's so funny Hey guys, so it is 2.30 now and we're back from the masquerade party. We've showered, we've changed, we're ready for bed. This is real life Zumba convention. Every day you kind of stay up later and later and every morning it gets a little bit harder to wake up between the lack of sleep and the sore muscles, but you know what? It is worth it because it is still fun and we're still gonna have a good time with our last day of sessions tomorrow. So that is it for day three, is it three? Yeah. 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 We think, I think it's day three. It's definitely Saturday. Well, actually, now that it's 2.30, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. <laughs> but we're going to go to bed. We're going to call it a night. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and consider subscribing because that will really support my channel. And I'll see you in my day four video. Bye.